which has a very historic location. Originally, the grounds were owned by Br Bridget Bishop, who was the uh, first witch burned in the uh, trials. So it's supposedly haunted. Hopefully, with a little help from Bridget herself, Chef Yell Woodson will be showing us how to make a delicious cornbread and crab stuffed witch flounder. So it's commonly referred to as gray soul, but especially during the month of October, we like to highlight the fact that it is called witch flounder. First up in your pan, melt some butter, then saute diced onions and celery. Just enough to soften them up a little bit. You can add a little bit of a sherry. It helps enhance the sweetness. Then crumble up some cornbread. This is going to be the base for your stuffing. Sometimes it's best if you use day-old cornbread. We're going to bring over our, our onion and celery mixture and butter. Pour that in together. All right, and then just start mixing together by hand. This is where I like to get my kids involved. Now fold in your crab meat. Mix some parsley, and that's your stuffing. Right. Easy. Very easy. Make a ball with the stuffing. Then take the flounder filet, wrap it around the stuffing, and that's it. I felt like mine came apart a little bit more than yours did, but that's okay. Right on the cookie sheet or a Pyrex pan in the oven, 350, 375, 10, 15 minutes, you're ready to go. A beautifully plated cornbread and crab stuffed witch flounder. That is so good. Some great flavors of New England. I think I could maybe make this at home. No doubt. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Halloween. That's what's cooking. I'm Sarah French, 7 News.